Hi everyone. Hiya. I'm Sam. I'm Vicky. Uh, this is Hannah. Say hi Han. Hi. Uh, we have two other daughters, Emily and Alice, uh, and we've been members of CBC for 10 years now. Mm. This is, uh, this time tomorrow, take 157. <laughs> Uh, so what will you be doing this time tomorrow? Um, me and Hannah will have just dropped Emily and Alice at school for the first time since before Christmas. So that's a big deal for us. Um, and we'll be coming home and I'll be able to spend a bit of time with Hannah, just the two of us. No more homeschooling. Uh, yeah, so it will be uh, different for us. What about you? Me, uh, I'm a tree surgeon and I will be in Margate uh, removing a large cherry tree. Um, come rain or shine, please pray for sunshine because um, I have to get it out. So it's got to, so whatever happens tomorrow, it's got to, it's got to be done. Um, how do you think uh, God uses you? Um, well, He helps me to be a wife and and a mum, bring up our three girls, uh, and in my role at the church, uh, how to serve. Um, with helping with the finances and the community hub uh, and coordinating deliveries and, and all the, you know, the different people that you come into contact with there. And I think this last year, it's been my first year back at work, having been a stay-at-home mum, so uh, I wasn't expecting how it's been, but um, learning to juggle work and home has been quite a challenge. And um I think God's shown me a lot about the importance of, of knowing what my boundaries are and um, just relying more on him. Yeah. How does he use you? Um, Pre-pandemic, um, it, uh, it was quite nice actually. Um, got to talk to a lot of people all the time, every day. Um, Good conversations, um, especially with uh, older people. Um, they've always got something quite wise to say, um, which is which is always nice. Um, but since lockdown last year, it's been quite difficult, really, um, to have any interaction with anyone because uh, it's all been on the phone. Or when I go to people's houses, um, they just mime at me through the window. Um, so <laughs> it's been a bit weird, but I guess just do a, always try really hard to do a good job. Um, always try to work really hard, I guess. And I guess that's how God uses me at work and at home. Um, just to be a good dad and a good husband. Um, to all, let my girls know that I, um, I love them and um, I'm always there for them. I guess. Hmm. How about you? Yeah, you already answered, <laughs> yeah, answered that. Yeah. Um, words of encouragement. Um, I guess that's a, that's a tough one, isn't it, for everyone, considering the year we've just had. But I guess now um, everyone's getting vaccinated. We have a we have a date to look forward to, don't we? Um, and at the same time, uh, the weather's getting nice. And we will, we will soon be back together at CBC, um, worshiping God and being a family, uh, a church family, which I do miss. I have missed that massively. Mm, yeah. um, and to shake someone's hand or to give, give, you know, give each other a hug, it'll be great. And that is coming. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I think my encouragement would be for mums, as I am one. I think um, uh, I read something um, yesterday, actually, that said to have, um, to be a good mum is to have utter dependence on God. And reading his word um, gives the fuel we need to make it through the day with our children and... Um, that was comforting and uh, that was reassuring to me just to know that that's what makes a good mum is to have utter dependence on God and um, 
he will bring what we need. Um, and there's so much pressure, I think, on parents and has been that um, it's really important to remember that. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm also, also looking forward to um, barbecues at Andrew and Jenny's house. They always put on a great spread. And our um, house. And, and our house, but Andrew, Andrew's. See, yeah. All right. Miss you all. Miss you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.